Hi everyone, it's Kasia from Taramap. I, call, I hope you can hear me well. I'm actually away house sitting or dog sitting at my friend's place, which is amazing. It's quite windy, so I don't know. How is the sound? <laughs> Maybe I'm going to like protect it. As you can see, I love the space. They have a beautiful house. Um, so we're here for two weeks and I'm just so glad that I'm in this beautiful space, you know, surrounded by nature because I embarked and I thought I'd share it with you um, on this Project 40, um, the father. Okay, I've got a big, big story with my father, like secrets, stuff, like I'm just not ready to share it yet, like totally publicly, but I thought I'm going to just mention this for you or for anyone who has some form of the father shit going on, you know, and there is a lot of us, I know that, and everybody has a bit of a different, you know, angle to this. I have done a lot of father uh, work with uh, like therapy and astrology and some other stuff um, but you know how it goes <laughs> life is a spiral energy moves in spirals and right now I think a couple of weeks ago we had Mars and Chiron conjunction uh, collectively and it was fascinating to me um, being an astrologer and watching the collective cycles when suddenly a lot of my friends or clients were coming up with um, either beginning to heal the masculine or again like heal again the masculine like myself and um, my friend who writes um, songs and poems she texted me one day and said like hey I wrote this song um, for healing the masculine which was like amazing song it's in Polish so I'm not going to share it yet but um, it's amazing text and that was uh, a spark for me to just recheck like what's going on collectively and when I looked Mars was in conjunction with uh, with Chiron and there was uh, just a lot of these themes emerged and um, I shared that I think in one of my posts or a previous video that I received this email in my mailbox and I never remembered signing up for those uh, emails. I did check. I did sign up in 2018, but I never opened any of the emails before, which was just, oops. I did open this one and I signed up for this project with Shireen uh, Vismaya, or Vismaya with, uh, it's called the Project 40. It goes for 40 days. Every day you receive an email. And this subject was the father. So I have been doing a lot of journaling. It's more uh, like a, you know, self-paced work, but you have to do it daily. And if you miss a day, you know, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to like, you know, I have this diary with, because she uses astrology, she uses tarot, a lot of writing, a lot of stuff coming up for me. Interesting realizations, which are like when you, come to them finally you're like it's so fucking obvious like how didn't I make the connections before um, so it's an interesting you know interesting timing um, so I'm doing this and also because you know when I'm passionate about something if you have followed me for a while I go fucking full in so I'm doing this project 40 with Shireen via email and also I signed up for this like webinar um, in Polish with this po Polish woman who does um, like Hellinger's family constellation stuff. And she has developed a little bit of a, her own twist to it. And I really appreciate her work. So I purchased this like recorded seminar. I'm not doing it live with her and I'm not doing the constellations, just it's, her work is based on it. And that's also fascinating because this is this shows the connection of the father, the active, the masculine, the go and get, you know, follow your desires and to your work, to your health and all this kind of like total biology stuff, which is also really fascinating. So um, while we're here for two weeks, I kind of, you know, withdrawn a little bit from being out recording, sharing and so on, because some of the days just like knocks you out <laughs> when you <laughs> have those realizations but uh, being in a beautiful space with nature you know I keep making my flower essences I still like you know me fucking takes a while but I still will be offering that flower essence and tarot uh, class at some point and flowers and tarot and so on I keep you know it's nearly done I just 
I don't know what's going on. And it's not ready to pop it out yet. And, but I hope the perfect timing will come. And uh, what I wanted to share today with you is, you know, two things. So I'm going to share a little uh, snippet I recorded later of my altar wherever I go altars appear you know like altar and altar creating an altar even in the most like tiniest places you know and uh, with tiniest of things i love this i don't know if you practice this type of ritualistic altar creation for whatever work i do whatever work um, or whatever you know is important in my life i usually tend to create an altar for it with some things that represent the subject or are connecting, connecting me to it. This woman, uh, Sherin Vishmaya, um, she's actually a devotee of Amma, which is like fascinating to me because I, uh, Amma was like and is still an uh, incredible, she played an incredible, uh, important role in my spiritual evolution. And uh, for many years, I was a devotee of Amma. I still am a devotee of Amma. I love her as the Holy Mother. Um, I'm probably not the best of the devotees because if we chose to like follow a, a teacher like you listen to what teacher says right and i'm not uh, very good uh, at following <laughs> all the rules but amma is definitely one of the most amazing um moving experiences that i you know lived in this life and maybe there is some karmic connection to it because, as I said, I've never opened those emails from Shireen and she writes only like newsletters once a, twice a year or something from what I saw because I only had a couple of the, those in my email unless I was deleting them, I don't know. It totally wasn't conscious. But when I opened this one, I like signed up. It was the last day to sign up. I signed up straight away and it was just like fascinating to see that she, like I felt like, uh, Amma whispered into my ah, ear, you know, to open that email to do this work right now. And um, I feel part of my purpose as well is not only to be, you know, of service to you via readings and um, inspiration, but also to somehow bring together uh, the masculine and the feminine in the sacred gesture of prayer uh, when you bring the right and the left together and you connect them at the heart center. So, um, yeah it's kind of like magical and and strange at the same time so what i thought we're going to do now i have to probably change the camera so let me just switch this camera over and we are going i'm going to show you a bag of cards bag of decks uh, and this bag has come with me from my place we've only we will be only here for two weeks so already one week has passed <laughs> but uh, i want to show you what what decks made it with me okay i knew i'm going to be doing work with decks and um, with this father stuff so that's what came with me okay. okay so what's in the bag first of all for the father work i really felt like using tarot de marseille i don't know i didn't want any too like too like feminine decks somehow tarot de marseille seems maybe quite masculine in some way i don't know why but um maybe just because of the simplicity and like simple colors and this particular version is amazing is this handmade um tarot the jean dodel tarot by sullivan and hisman's tarot sheet retrieval and i did uh, get an email at some point from a beautiful uh, lady who watches my youtube channel and she asked if she if I was interested in swapping for for some readings and she has sent me this beautiful deck I I was like hell yeah <laughs> even though in the beginning I didn't even realize it was this handmade version I thought she was just 
wanting to swap for the regular version uh, but I didn't have it so I was like of course no problem I would love to swap you know and then when this re I received this beautiful handmade version I'm treasuring it so if you watch this thank you so much I love it so this um, this ca this came with me and I have been doing wonderful readings with with Tarot de Marseille and Father and because it's such a embodied work as well like you know energy archaeology oracle I love this deck maybe I'm not showing uh, it so often on my feed on uh, Instagram or sharing here but this deck is really incredible and I keep using this deck a lot and specifically with you know when you do a deep work embodiment and where your body how your body reacts to it that's really important so energy archaeology oracle I have the um, review of this deck so you can take a look if you don't know it the little tough made it of course this is my 36 um, secrets oh, there is a tractor coming so bear with the noise there's uh, 36 uh, secrets so the uh, the canic journey so i keep writing on this copy um, but yeah it's a it's just i just bought this mini so i don't feel sorry for myself <laughs> i just keep writing on it so this is the copy of Toph that I like and I love using Toph for like you know divination and getting answers from my, uh, for myself because it's quite can be quite full-on this is now my favorite flower deck at this moment soul flower plant spirit oracle I actually just got the mass-produced version to have the book um, so I do have the book for it and I really love it. I love Lisa's work. I'm going to actually really try to get her on Inspired Tarot Map interview. And I kept the indie version because the normal version now has just each, it doesn't have all these different colors in the back. It just has like the white, whitened one. So it, maybe it's easier to read. It's beautiful, but I just, you know, I kept using my uh, indie one and I love the indie one. So I'm just going to keep the indie. But this deck is so soulful. I actually have also just gotten uh, the essences from Lisa, the flower essences. She has done flower essences with collaboration with another herbalist. And the herbalist did, did the essences, but Lisa put her art on the bottle. So it's quite cute and thanks to my friend Natalia she has you know asked her to send it over to me because they didn't ship to Europe of course one of those many fucking times when you can't get something you want because it's not shipping um happy tarot made it because it's just I don't know I love this deck I just love it and the booklet is cute not like amazing but like you know every card as I said you can go you can find happiness through do, 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 do. It's every uh, card has this sentence at the end and it's just yeah it's a perfect one for inner child work and obviously when you're working on your parents father mother family constellation shit your inner child comes to play as well so this one came with me I also took the the self-love tarot by Hanya I really like it too <coughs> where are you here it is. It's one of this really soulful, uh, a little bit also maybe like body aware deck, even though the bodies are quite like, you know, um, cartoonish, would we say, but it's a really sweet deck and the colors and it's just beautiful. I love this deck. And Hanya is Polish. So, you know, whenever I use it, I'm like, oh yes, I feel like I'm supporting her as well and also has gone with me to many places so this deck is really cool for any type of work like this this is right now one of my favorite tarot decks maybe I get this <laughs> tissue <laughs> out of sight so the mystical dream tarot fuck it's so good if you love anything with alchemy symbolism dreams um, doing this type of work like father mother family you know when you kind of can look at stuff a little bit from more like detached mythical symbolical level this deck is incredible I love the colors I love the art um, it speaks 
volumes because you know an image can speak a thousand of words and especially when stuff is unconscious when you don't quite you know with the families we sometimes think we know and then like some other unconscious shit runs us so so this mystical dream tarot by janet pierilato it's amazing and it's a mass-produced deck so highly recommend it um then i have the ancient ritual postures of belinda gore and highly also recommend this deck i actually haven't done much um i have done a couple of uh, journeys with the postures but right now i don't know i just feel like uh, it's just all too much it's becoming too much so i kind of limited my stuff but actually i want to do all the healing i, I want to pick all the healing postures and i share with you all the journeys which i've done because i you know I wrote, I wrote them down but i'm going to pick all 10 of the healing postures and maybe go through the healing postures uh, while i'm doing this work as well because i think it might be another cool way to access some other you know hidden layers from the big girls the fairy tale oracle this is my favorite oracle of all of them and um, it's amazing love it and i even like love the book now i don't care that it's like messy and not, not coherent but it it is quite spot on this is one of the most spot on oracles i actually have you have worked with um and then i took the beautiful creature star as well i like it and as i said i kind of maybe on instagram i said it that like i'm maybe becoming a bit lazy but i quite enjoy having keywords <laughs> on some of my decks not all of the decks please but um i right now because of the maybe so much deep work that i'm doing i'm really enjoying uh, having the keywords so yeah keywords and beautiful creatures tarot and sometimes you know reading the book and having uh, like a provided info on um on the card helps especially when you go through like a deep spiritual psychological kind of process you like i don't know your brain works differently so Alice in Wonderland probably it's one of the other one that I like it's my favorite and I keep using uh, reversals with it oh, how cool is this card for like flower essence queen <laughs> not thinking just of myself but it's like really beautiful I thought and so yeah Alice um, Alice deck very spot on as well and it's interesting when I use those for clients like they really spooky spot on so we nearly finished so i've got also the healing uh, flower color cards i have prepared my father essence based on pulling from those cards so that was an interesting one this is just batch flowers um, and this is the new deck that melissa uh, lucia created i don't know if it's for sale yet but it's called slang oracle or slang uh, super slang oracle something like this sorry i will link it below maybe um but yeah it's just the words but like uh she picked like slang from 80s i think so you guys might recognize it better than like not a native speaker but our bodies ourselves wanna be say what dream on hot trump no da nito <laughs> so sometimes i just pick you know i do like a regular regular tarot reading and i just put a slang word onto each of the cards and sometimes the correlations are so funny i kind of love this one really and the last one is also <coughs> my favorite deck uh, the healing uh, herbal deck right now so um two of the herbal uh, flower kind of plant based decks that I'm using right now a lot this deck is out of print unfortunately I don't know I hope they reprint it because it is the book is so good it's just so good I love this deck so Herbal Healing by um, Sarah Baldwin and Ashley Verkamp and the cards have each you know like a plant spirit there's flowers there's trees there's root, uh, roots and and leaves i think or yeah and like leafy 
and it's just so good and I remember I got this deck I think I bought it from Anya Tarot by Anya and yeah I also treasure it because it's a nice connection to her so that's I it I hope guys. you enjoyed it uh, what's in the bag and uh, I hope you have a good good day good weekend times are tough Neptune is going retro whoever is responding to Neptune and has a strong Neptune in the chart you might guys feel a little bit of a backwards twist um, also um, Mars was squaring Pluto recently which is you know uh, again that masculine the deep, deep transformative work on masculine you know clearing the karmic ties really looking deeply into ourselves to see how do we use or misuse the masculine and because we in the patriarchal society uh, most of us we are really influenced by unhealthy masculine but there is a lot of beautiful healthy examples out there you know and we all have that healthy part in us as well so reconnecting remembering bringing that one forth if you male or female or non-binary and um, it's really important work right now and it kind of signs up with the celestial body movements um, if you would like an astrology reading from me or any you know tarot reading I do most of them anyway uh, they actually uh, include some astrology but if you would like an astrology session where I look at uh, your birth chart in depth and uh, speak about your lessons challenges talents limitations cycles which you are right in um, uh, right now in um, check out my website everything is written in the description box you can guys uh, sign up for it they quite you know pricey readings but they last two hours uh, if it's a live session or hour and a half if it's a recorded session and I have to prefer prepare myself uh, to you know give you the information ahead and I have studied this for uh, many 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 years and also put a lot of money into educating myself and I still am educating myself further and so I hope you understand where the price tag comes from and uh, other than that I hope you guys have a very good time say hello to Polish countryside and um, I see you soon bye